Hello. Hello, America. Okay, what's your name? My name is Sonny Chatham. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Paris, Texas. So what do you do for a living? I work on classic cars and trucks. I do interiors and I do custom embroidery. Oh, nice. And, and upholstering, and upholstering. Wow, and you're gonna be singing and playing the ukulele? Yes, I am, sir. What inspired you to uh, play the ukulele and sing? I saw Grace Vanderwall win on this show. Oh, wow, that's my golden buzzer. Yes. I saw her play and I just got a ukulele and I started writing songs and they just started pouring out of me. They just started pouring out of me. Oh, can I show you my dream board? Your what? I brought it my dream board. Yeah, I got one of those. All right. So that's, can I have a mic stand maybe? Or, it's okay, all right. I'm sorry, I'm taking a look. I see Sophia on there. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that's me, Sonny Chatham. Yes. And that's the crowd loving me. <laughs> and you're loving me, aren't you? Aren't you? You're loving me. That's my Grammy. I think we need to move on to the performance now, Sonny. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. No, we got it. Some. We got it. It's all good. Sophie, I want you to know... I, I have a lady friend already, so it's not, it's not romantic, my intentions, oh. but I, I just wanted to meet you and say, hi, I'm Sonny, and I just, I just respect you so much. And you're, Thank you, Sonny. You're just a strong woman, and can I say hi to my lady friend, P? No, hey, 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 is there a song? Hi, P, hi, P, I love you. Who? I love you. Yeah, we don't have time. Stand up, P, I don't want to see P, where's P? She's not here. She's taking care of her mother. She couldn't come tonight. Oh, wow. Okay. What song are you singing tonight? Well, that's the thing. See, I wanted to set myself apart from others. Well, you're already there. Thank you, Howie. I would really love it if, if you would help me choose the song. Well, I need, I need help, so. What about I Don't Know My Name by Grace Vandeville? Well, I want to sing an original song. So I brought, I brought, I wrote, I wrote, I've written hundreds of songs. I've written hundreds of songs pick, and I brought. Pick whatever you want. I wrote them on a card. So the pink is love songs. Okay, pick that one, that one, do that one. The blue. We definitely want definitely love. Definitely a love song. Love, love, do love Do the pink song. one, do the pink song. I haven't gotten to all of them pink, yet. Pink, 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 pink. Wait, wait a minute. Just a second. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but I, if I flip and you say stop. Okay, go they ahead. Hurry said up. Stop. Hurry up. Hurry up. You say stop, stop. 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 Well, you got to be a little faster. <laughs> okay, stop. 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 But I didn't flip them yet. I know. I'll sing, I'll sing, I'm so yeah. sorry. But I'll sing, I'll sing. But I just have, I would like everyone to be part of this song. So oh my I just, I have some present. I just want to real quick bring, just real quick, if it's okay. He's running out. I have, I have some special, some special egg shapers. Special one for Sophia. It's a ladybug. I mean, throw it. Can I bring it down? Sing your song. Sing your song. Sing your song. Sing your song. One more red buzzer left. Okay, just give me one second. Sonny, so. no, 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 no. Sonny, you've got to sing the song, please. I'm begging you. I, 
I will, but just one thing. No, no, I'm really begging you now. Sunny, do you see this hand? It's going very close to that red no. buzzer. If you don't start please singing no, right no. now, please no, please. then it's going to be over. I brought you egg shakers. Start singing. Please don't. Start, start singing. singing. Sing, Sunny. Please don't. Start singing. Sing. I'll sing. Okay, I'll sing. Okay, please. I'll sing. Okay, please. I'm going I'm to sing. Okay, put the things down and sing, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Hand is traveling. I'm just trying It's to... getting closer, Sonny. Sonny, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, okay, I'm gonna sing. Good, thank God. I'm sorry, I just gotta tune up real quick. My young Jeffy Lee, Sonny. <laughs> I just wanted everyone to be part of it. I Goodbye. just Goodbye. You know, I wish I could show you our vision board. It's it's a picture of you leaving. <laughs> oh, oh no. Nah. Oh no. Nah. Maybe maybe you can come another season. Really? I think he's gonna be here next season still. Heidi, what do you think? What do I think? What's happening with your mustache? Sunny? Oh uh, wait, wait, I'm married. Okay, who are you? Sunny. Wait a minute. Hi, I'm I'm Krista Commodore. I'm a comedian performer from Brooklyn, New York. You know, I'm going to say something about this. One of my favorite comics of all times is Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Based on that, I like you, and I think this is funny, and people are going to... Yeah. So if we're going to start voting, I would give you a yes. I did. Yeah. It's a little bit annoying, to be honest with you. It's a no for me. That was the whole point. She was trying to be annoying. I want to give you a yes. All right, wait, don't celebrate yet. You need three yeses to go on, so your future on this show is based on sign. I'm gonna be honest with you. You've gone from being the most annoying contestant genuinely I've ever met in my life to suddenly everyone loves you. <laughs> so for that reason, you got a yes. Thank you very much. Should I still give you your egg shaker? No. No. All right, so Terry, help us. The mustache. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, it's over. It's all over. Thank you. Thank you. We'll find our mustache. Hello. Hi. And what's your name? Uh, Gattis Kandes. Where are you from? Uh, Latvia. Okay, from Latvia. Why did you, why did you come here? Um, I came, came here to live. Uh, okay, uh, hello. Uh, are there any guys with big muscles in the audience? No, good, then I'll talk about them. Um, it, you, know, you know, those big muscles make those guys so heavy that they cannot ride a pony. Um, however, they can break a fragile toilet seat. I mean, I mean, do they work out to attract the ladies? Well, actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. <laughs> Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud, and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead, uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there.
Uh, seeing is believing and weighing is relieving. He's the funniest bloke we've had in Hammersmith. More? Yes. <laughs> are, are you well? Yes. No, you're not a well, you, you're a person. <laughs> What is going on here? You are the funniest, unfunniest comedian I have ever heard in my life. I mean, absolute rubbish, but <laughs> it actually really, really made me laugh. Uh, that, that was my uh, aim, to make you laugh. What well, you certainly did that, Gattis. It was so bad that it was actually brilliant. Yeah. You mustn't change. You seriously must not change. Not even the jumper. Keep the jumper. <laughs> well, it's one of my jumper. There's nothing mate. wrong with it. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to kick this off because you did actually make me laugh, and that's what comedians are supposed to do. So I'm going to say yes. Hey, to him up. Why they say yes? What? <laughs> It's a no from me today. David. So it rests with me. The way you must judge comedy is, did it make you laugh? It made me laugh. I'm going to say yes. Yes. Hello, is this working? Yeah, I guess it's it is. It's working. We can hear you. Fantastic. Can you okay. hear me? Mm? Can you hear me? Can you yes. hear me? That answers your question. We could go on all night like this. Yes. You want to? Yeah, I, I would be great. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Ray Jessel. Would you share with us your age? Is My that rude age, of me to I, ask? I've got plenty to share. <laughs> 84. The I'm 84. 84. Wow. Eighty-four. Are you excited to be here? I've never performed before judges before. Um, I've appeared before judges before. But... <laughs> Ray, what will you be doing for us today? Uh, a song I've written. Can't wait to hear it. All righty. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very good. That's wonderful. Okay. And for my second song, I'd like to. Uh... <laughs> I met this girl, and she's just great. This girl I just adore. The problem is, she has much more than I had bargained for. She's got that style, she's got that smile, she's got the walk, she's got the talk, she's got that zing, there's just one thing, she's got a penis. <laughs> She's got that flair, knows what to wear. She's got that face, that girlish grace. She's got pizzazz, too bad she has a penis. <laughs> now there's always some failure, always some flaw. Ain't that what they call Murphy's Law? But male genitalia, that's where I draw the line. Besides, hers is bigger than mine. <laughs> My life's a mess, cause under that dress, she's got a P-E-N-I-S. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ray. Yes. So, Ray, you, 
So you wrote the song, you said, yes. right? Yes, yes. Did that happen to you? Is this a true story and you turn it into a song? Well, actually, something like that happened to a friend of mine. A friend oh. of mine. Oh. Oh, I know those friend of mine things, but this is true, actually. Uh, um, you anyway. have no idea what you just did in what? my house. My children are all sitting in the audience, and they all will be singing that song later on tomorrow, <laughs> the next day, the day after. You have no idea. It is a very catchy uh, tune, but I tell them not to say that. It's a catchy tune. I like to write word. catchy tunes. They don't write them like that anymore. Okay. Can I tell you something? You know, I'm really thinking you're a breath of fresh air well, at 84 you. years old. You know, when you first got up, I was kind of like, oh, this is one of those acts that are a waste of time. I was going to buzz you. In this, and then all of a sudden, you kicked in with that brilliant lyric. <laughs> and, and you know what? <laughs> Good for you. You know, but, we, we, but, you hear 84-year-old guy, you think 84-year-old guys have lost their sense of humor. You've got it in spades. You're doing no, a terrific some of them audition. have lost everything. So, Fantastic. You know. <laughs> even at an earlier age. Yeah, absolutely. Mel B. Ray, you are a naughty, funny, dirty old oh, man. thank you. Thank you, dear. And I loved it. Made me laugh S a thank, lot. Thank you. We need more laughter. How Howie, you were up on your feet. I love it. Yeah. I'll tell you something. You're funny and witty and personable, and I just, I can't see enough of you. I love you, Mr. Jessel. Thank you so much. Yes. No. Yes. Ray, I'm going to give you a yes as well. That's three yeses. And I'm going to give you four yeses. Four yeses. Hi. Love your eyeshadow. Oh, thank you. What is your name? My name is Habiola. Habiola. And what brings you here today? I'm going to be continuing on and on and on and on as a woman. Oh, I like that way of thinking. You mean you want to be on the show forever? Yes. So did Louie. <laughs> Good luck. Is this the intro? <gasps> what is she singing? Thank you. Um, Abby, do you have the second song? Look, Abiola, you know, I like you, but honestly, I don't think this is right for you right now. Oh. We're going to vote. Louis? I'm going to say no. It's a no from me, it's a no for all. Uh, it's very nice to meet you, Abiola. Thank, Thank you, I'm fine. Thank you. What is going on today? <laughs> Hello, we know who you are. Blobby. 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 Blobby, Blobby. All right, whatever. Right, why are you here? Nope. It's the Blobby Magic Show. Yeah. OK, right, no more questions. Good luck. Oh, no. Ah, here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. oh. Mr. Bob is going to hospital. No, 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 Oh. 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 Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just awful. Come with me. Where? The big 
Go on, go on, get him up, get him up. <laughs> oh no. For any younger viewers who don't know who Mr. Blobby is, he is... TV royalty. TV royalty. <laughs> oh, Chris! Oh, Blobby! <laughs> what would you like me to do? <laughs> yes! Mr. Blobby. Get him in there, Blobby! Disappear in box! Can you go in there? <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Me. Hi, Simon. Love you. Hi, darling. Love you. Hi. Oh. No. No. Okay. Now let's all just sneak out. <laughs> yeah. Let's go home. Oh, boy, still there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on, man. No, 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 Slippy. Oh, oh my god. Do you know this is gonna happen? Oh my god, no! Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you doing hey. today? I'm fine, thank you. How about yourself? Very good, thank you for asking. Oh, good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Taylor. I'm a professional stand-up comedian, if you don't count the fact that my mom still pays my cell phone bills. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. What made you um, become a comedian? What was your school life like? Well, uh, I got picked on a lot. I can't believe it either. <laughs> um, and uh, I found that making people laugh, I mean, they want to take a break from hurting me. Aww. Yeah, I wouldn't be here with you guys if it wasn't for that, so God bless everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, Taylor, you're already making his laugh, so oh. carry on. Hey, what would you do if you won the million dollars? What would you do? <laughs> uh, well, I'd buy everyone in the audience ice cream. <laughs> Okay, Taylor, do your thing. They say the hardest thing in the world is raising a child. I think the second hardest thing is putting a comforter inside a duvet. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't laugh at that joke, it's probably because you don't know what a duvet is. <laughs> um, I'm not a parent, but I do have parental instincts sometimes. Like, remember when you were little and your mom was driving and she had to stop the car very abruptly so she'd put her arm out to protect you and keep you safe, you know? I did that today with Chinese food. 
apparently I was driving in England. <laughs> that happened. It's like, you, eh? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my, uh, my grandma's really old. Um, I guess that's how grandmas work. You know, she's like um, 95. Whenever I talk to her, she tells me how all her friends are dying and she remains in perfect health. I figured it out, you guys. She's the murderer. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't laugh at that joke, uh, it's probably because you don't know what a duvet is. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. You know what? You're very funny, brother. Oh, very, very funny. Thank you I was so much. laughing a lot. Thank you. I liked it. You've, you've got, you're kind of a little bit awkward, and I like that too. Oh, and you're a bit kind of strange to look at, and I really like that too. I do, in a nice way, in a nice way. I like looking at you too. Thanks. <laughs> Howie, what did you think? I think you are fabulous. I really do. I think that, you know, I've never seen you before. How long have you been doing this? Almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. It's amazing that you haven't, and I love that you haven't been seen and that we can discover you right here on AGT. What's amazing, <laughs> even the way you sound, I like your voice. I mean, when you become <laughs> famous, people are gonna be doing impressions of you. You are very funny. I think you got great stage presence. Welcome to America's Got Talent. There you go. Hi, right. what did you think? I also thought that you were very funny in a very shy and dorky kind of a way. This, this is just a character. I have, I have sex all the time. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Thank you. Howard, what did you think? You know, to me, the sign of a true wit, uh, not only for your, your material that you had prepared, but your repartee with Mel and just now Heidi, uh, you're quick, you know? Very. And you, you've got that kind of mind that can come out here, 90 seconds, win everyone over. I think you're gonna do very well. Thank you so much, thank you. Thanks. For me, it's a definite yes. For me, it's a yes. Heidi? I like you, it's a yes for me too. Thanks. Howard? Big ol' yes. See you in Vegas! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 And what makes you different from everyone else in the charts today? Um, well, we got our own style, but if it was, if we had to say one, it'd probably be like P Diddy and, and Usher. Okay. But, but he sounds on his on when he sings on his own, he sounds like a bit like Rick Astley as well. Right. So okay. P Diddy, Usher. Usher, and Rick Astley. Kind of. Yeah. Okay, it's a good mix. And guys, presume you think you can win. What happens when you win? What's the next stage? Well, we want to be worldwide selling artists. Okay, off you go. Okay, um... Whoa, 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 mysterious girl, move your body close to mine. Come on, move your body. Come on, move your body. I stop and stare at you, walking on the shore. I try to concentrate, my mind wants to explore. To explore. The tropical scene of you takes me up above. And girl, when I look at you, Oh, I fall in love. No doubt you look so fine. Whoa. Girl, I wanna make you mine. Yeah, come on. Just let me be with the woman that I love. The woman that I love. No doubt you're your only man. Whoa. Who can love you like I can? Yeah, man. Just let me be with the woman that I love. <laughs> Where do I start? I mean, it's more like Anton Deaf. It's just... Come on, Simon. Oh, guys, come on. Come on, we know we're, we know we're good enough, Simon. No, Sam, no, no, no disrespect, enough. but we, we've heard we're pretty good. Look, Anton Seb, I mean, it was just crazy bad. Give us a chance, we will prove to you. We will prove to you. We, 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 can, get, we can get better. 
We're different. We're you different. are different. We've never had anything like this on the show before. Absolutely, we've heard nothing like this. All right, Louis, yes or no? No. Cheryl? Yeah, no, I don't think you're right for this. Please, please, give please. us a chance. Guys! Come on. Guys, 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 it's a no. Sing it through mine. Sing it. You're the reason I go on in life. Yeah. Better to him last Okay, 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 okay. You, you, you can't sing one or not. mine. Sing if you were mine. Oh, for God's sake, it's a no. sorry, Simon, but you're a good singer. No! I can't sing no for answer. Guys, you've got and to leave. Hero you know, or if you were mine, just choose which, which song. Which you've song. got to leave. Hello, DJ John. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hello there, I'm from Newcastle, up on Tyne. Yay! Your I do a voluntary radio station. I'm a DJ from Newcastle. <laughs> Simon, Simon has got a clue what's going on. Let's have a look. And John, what's the dream? My dream is to be at Starlink, Ant and Deck and Shovel Core. Yes, you know it. Yes. What? And who are your musical inspiration? I, I'm a big fan of Metro Radio back in the northeast and BBC Radio Newcastle. <laughs> it's very Newcastle based. <laughs> Derek, come here a second. Go on, go on. You need to translate him because I can't understand the word you say. He said what? He he very much enjoys listening to Metro Radio and BBC Radio Newcastle. Got it. Thank you. Go. <laughs> I mean, you just sounded like him. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. That was my posh voice. <laughs> Have you brought anyone with you today? I've come myself all the way from Newcastle. <laughs> He, he's on his own. Got it. <laughs> Can I say one thing? This is for Simon of DJ John. Thank you, John. Yes, Simon. Thank you. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Take care. Take care. Up the stairs, yeah. John, the stage is yours. Good luck whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Come on, then, John. Go. Yeah. Go. 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 Yeah, go. Yeah. Go. Start. Go. 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 No, 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 not, not go. Hit <laughs> it, it, it. Let the beat control your body. Let the beat control your body. Yeah! Come on, John! Let the beat control your body. Let the beat control your body. Let the beat control your body. Now let my beat control your body. I'm moving. Oh, it was flashy on everybody on your feet, and I know that later on we'll still be sort of doing that well, song. Did you actually write that song? No. Well, I, I learned the dance. You did? So you just did the dance? I did the dance, I mixed it up. You mixed it, did, but you mixed it? Uh, I didn't mix it, the song, but I mixed the, the dance up. So basically, you actually just did the dance? Yes, got it. Here. David, do you want to see John through to the next round? Of course I do. I don't know. It's a yes to me. Mr. Simon Howe. <laughs> I'm going to say no. 
DJ John in the mix, coming with a bag of tricks. It's a yes from Nova. I thought I did that. I'll go die. Hi. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. Okay. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Oliver Graves and I'm from Santa Rosa, California. How old are you? I'm 32. And what are you going to be doing for us? I am a stand-up comedian. Is that what you do? Yeah. Are you in a relationship or married? Um, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm single. I'm thinking this guy's perfect for you. Why? I think we should just let Oliver do what he's going to do. Okay, go for it. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, not if you're poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> then the antidote becomes the most important meal. <laughs> I'm trying to find the woman of my dreams, but it's a struggle because I'm an insomniac. <laughs> I tried online dating, and there'd be people that would say, must love dogs. I didn't understand why. Like, I want to love a person. <laughs> but it all made sense once I looked at the faces of the people that were saying that. <laughs> Dating's really hard for me, like, compatibility-wise. Like, like, I'm a Virgo, so that means... Yeah. That means I'm only compatible with people that are really naive and believe in horoscopes. I traded in my car to get my interest rates lowered. It worked. Women are less interested in me. <laughs> I once had my identity stolen. It's okay, they gave it right back. <laughs> Thank you. Oliver, Oliver, you're so different. You're humble and real and dark. It's everything that I absolutely love. So good. From the moment you walked out, your visual, your your and your cadence and everything, and you're smart and you're bright. I think you didn't get the reaction you expected. So you're not used to this, are you? No. Is that, is that why you're crying? I, I don't get booked on a lot of shows. Oh. You know, that's well. You know, enjoy your free time right now because you are going to be a busy man. Well, Oliver, uh, we have had a lot of stand-up comedians this year. Now, when I look back and I try and remember them all, they all blur into one type apart from you. You're a stuff. And I'm going to kick this off with your first yes, brother. Thank you. I'm giving you your second yes. I did. You've got four yeses, congratulations. Great. Tell me what you feel like like on this. Oh, do you think go just a few of us? I don't think it would happen. I thought it was funny. It was funny. I love them. I like them a lot. I know I'm not. What, everything they're saying, I'm not the norm. Uh, it's, it's great to hear a payoff. Once, that's what makes you special. Welcome 
Hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Ben Langley. Hello. Hello, Ben. Where are you from? Um, I'm from South Norfolk. What's your day job, Ben? Uh, I, I do this act. OK, I'm not going to ask what it is, because we like surprises. Lush. Uh, tell me why you've entered the show this Lush. year. Well, my, my two little boys, they say, come on, Daddy, you've got to be on Britain's Got Talent. So you've got sons, you've got kids. I've got two children. OK, anything else? Yeah, uh, well, they did have a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I won't go there. All right, Ben, good luck. Thank you ever so much. Well, you see, I think my little stint now is all about uh, me uh, mishearing lyrics in music, see? I mean, it all started when I went to see The Lion King. Anybody see The Lion King? Yeah. Oh, I love The Lion King, but I must have misheard something, right? Because I thought the first song was about the Arsenal Club football manager. <laughs> <laughs> What I did then, right, I had a little thing to myself. I thought, oh, maybe there's other songs, right, that you can hear that you think maybe they're singing something different, right? So I've amalgamated loads and it's just for you. Hit it, Shirley! You are the Well done, Ben. Brilliantly funny. Perfect for the raw variety. Oh, it's so fast paced, so funny. So well done, Ben. Ben, that was fantastic. And honestly, we could watch you forever and ever. And you're so lovely. Oh, great character. Can't wait to see more. I don't love this kind of act normally. It was it was so silly, so funny. Your energy is amazing. Ben. It was absolutely brilliant. Good for you. I'm really happy. Fine, we're gonna go with David. I'm going to say yes. Oh, thanks for ruining some of our favourite sayings. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Ben Langley, I'm thrilled to tell you, you've got four yeses. Congratulations. You were all Ben, well done. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Good. What's your name, sir? J-Star Valentine. It's my stage, J-Star. And when did you start in music? I was like 16, I started doing gigs. And do you think you can win? I'm sure, I'm sure. Come I'm on, sure. let's do this. I'm sure. <laughs> OK, what are you going to sing for us? Uh, my own version of Alexander Burke, Hallelujah. Oh, great. OK, good luck. Can I? Got a good voice. Is it all easy to package? It's very powerful. Yeah. Interesting. Major Le, the powerful key, composing Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. She tied you to a kitchen chair. She broke a foam and she cut your hair. 
I'm full. <laughs> it's not so one. You see the light. It's so cold. It's so broken. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of versions of that song, but nothing as strange as that. You found that song like a ghost. Strange. I couldn't make my mind up whether it was strange or... Rather, <laughs> I mean, it was like really weird. Were you serious? I was just nervous. Yeah, we're not connecting the dots. It's not as musical as maybe you're hearing inside of your head. Okay. We're going to vote right now. You need three yeah, 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 verses. It's going to have to be a no from me. It's a no from me. It has to be a no from me. And you've got four no's. Thank you for coming, Free. And thank you. What went wrong in there? It wasn't myself. And even when I walked in, I was wasn't myself. Yeah. Yeah. That was different. We didn't expect that. It is so cold in here now. Uh... Show them what you got. Thanks, TC. Okay, okay. Oh, did that mean something? You're I good. didn't mean nothing, did it? I'm off the clock. Okay, good, good. Go on out there. Oh, God. A little scary. Okay. All right. Uh... <laughs> Let's start with welcome. Uh, would you like to tell me who you are, please? Death. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why are you here, Death? I'm going to be performing stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and can I ask you where you're from, Death? I am from the swirl of oblivion that will one day swallow us all. Currently, I rent a one-bedroom in Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I think I know where this is going, so good luck. Thank you. They say the only guarantees in life are death and taxes. But if you walk around all summer in a thick black cloak, Thigh chafing is also gonna happen. Anyone who says you can't cheat death hasn't met my ex girlfriend. It's so bad. It's gonna be better. You to be under the skin that I I've been dating recently. <laughs> it's tough. I get ghosted a lot. What? I'm going to tell a relatable dating anecdote now. Have you ever been on a date? And it's going well. And you go back to her place. And then you remember you have to kill her cat. <laughs> you died on stage. Oh, you know what, Dad? You're probably gonna like this, but we hate you. <laughs> what do you think, Brilliant? Looking for longevity, not really death. Howie, it was horribly funny because sometimes you'll hold for laughter or hold for applause, you hold for X's. And I'll tell you, tomorrow morning when you're on the bus, you are going to be recognized. Anything you want to add, Gabriel? As a makeup tutorial, I'm here for the smoky eye and the chiseled contour. Thank you. 
But um, I, I, I do agree with the criticism. I'm not hurting. Okay, we're going to vote. Howie? No. Gabrielle? Um, that's going to be a no for me. You had. I didn't get it, so I'm going to say no. It's four no's. Thank you. That other otherwise. It would stop. It's in love. Trip him with puff. I know her. Watching it was funnier than him. Yeah, but I don't. Sometimes when it's going bad, it's almost funnier. I'll be seeing Simon Cow later tonight. But you like me, right? You're cool. Oh, H. H. Love the suit. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I don't think I could have taken that much longer. Oh, oh hello. Hi. How are you? Wonderful. How are you? Good, thanks. Surviving. <laughs> okay, what is your name? My name's Honey G. Honey G. Sweet like Honey G. So what's your real name? Anna Georgette Guilford. And how old are you? I'm 35. And where are you from? North Wheezy. Northwest London in Harrow. OK. North Wheezy, yeah. So representing in the Harrow. <laughs> At the moment, I'm representing for the X Factor Massive at the moment. OK, Honey G. Um, Good luck. Have fun. OK. H to the O to the N to the E to the Y to the G, it's Honey G. H to the O to the N to the E to the Y to the G, it's Honey G. When I say honey, you say G. Honey G. G. Honey G. G. When I say honey, G. you say G. Honey G. G. Honey, G. check it to wreck it, let's begin. Party on, party people, let me hear some noise. Honey, G's in the house, let me hear some noise. Let me hear some noise. Oh, yeah! yeah. Work it, I need a glass of water. Boy, oh boy, it's good to serve yes. that. If you work it, let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. It's nerf, dip it, dip it, die, dip it. It's nerf, dip it, dip it, die, dip If you got a big, let me search it. Work it. It's nerf, dip it, dip it, die, dip it. It's nerf, dip it, dip it, die, dip it. If you're a fly gal, get your nails done, get a pedicure, get your hair did. Yes, yes. Woo! Yes. Woo! Yeah. Sharon. Yes, darling. I never knew you were into this urban stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> so, what would you say, guys? Well, I, I don't quite know what to say. I do. <laughs> What does your mum think about this? Some of my tracks have got swearing on them. My mum doesn't like that, but apart from that, she's down with me. They could stop. You know that you're having a nervous breakdown over there. I was so uncomfortable. That shouldn't happen. You shouldn't be doing that. Come on, guys, you got to feel me. Did you say we have to feel you? Yeah, you, you got to... I don't want to feel you. I felt you and I don't want to feel you again. You can take it with it. We're cold. Did you enjoy it? You in? Yeah, I was really feeling. I was feeling it. Thank you. I love it. Please, please, just end. Are oh, we good to vote? Sharon, yes or no? Yes, yes. I did. Well, listen, honey, I'm going to say yes. Thank you so much. Simon, I'm not included. <laughs> good. Make your own mind up. Honey, G. Because I love him so much. What'd you say? I'm gonna say yes. I'm feeling it. Side here. No, I'll never continue to violate the ball. What's up? Yeah, see you in the sun with it. Yeah, see you boot camp. See you boot camp. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, come on. What do you. 
and I hope she's in his category. That's what we're talking about, honey, D. Right there. Yes, we did it. We shied down. Uh, we shied down. You lot are crazy. At this camp, you will see a bit of honey, G. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Um, could we have a little chat before you start playing? W what? Could we have a little chat before you start playing? Uh, can I just get your? Can I just get your name? I don't, I don't, uh, yeah. Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> yeah. No, it's it is enjoyable, we'll come to that. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> what's your name? What's, what's your, your name? name? What's your name? <laughs> yeah, one moment, what's your name? 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 The seaweed is always. What's your name? name? What's your name? You dream about going up there. That chance of there can stay. Just look at the rooms around you. Right here on the ocean floor. Say what for things around you. What more is I looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea. Don't let it spend the dark. I'm taking from you. Simon Whereabouts you from? Whereabouts you from? Yeah. No, where... oh, no! 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 You took that! Take that away! Go on, Vitaly! Under the sea. Hello. And so what are you going to do for us tonight? <laughs> uh, Why play... are we doing everything backwards? Because we didn't get a chance to do the chat I play before the, the We act. know what he's going to do. We're going to start pressing those buttons again and... I have um, the second uh, no, costume. No, 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 no. <laughs> Michael Jackson. He's off again. Skin hurt, dead hurt, everybody gonna hurt. Situation, aggravation, everybody allegation. In the suit, on the news, everybody dog food. Black bag, shark bag, everybody gonna hurt. All I wanna say in them, that the real carry bodies. All I wanna say in them, that the real carry bodies. Brilliant! Ah. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> bit nervous. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I'm Phil W. Green. Um, I'm 21, and I'm going to be doing comedy impressions. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Phil, do you do this full time? Uh, no, I don't. No. What do you do? I work at Body Shop at the moment as a uh, customer consultant. I bet your dream is to be a big international yes, star. Yes, I'd love to be on stage. <laughs> Philip, did you bring anyone with you? So, uh, yeah, my friend Christy. Did she work at Body Shop? She did, but she's recently left. Why? Because she found a better job. <laughs> <laughs> found a better job! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Where? Um, she now works um, at Barrett's, <laughs> so... <laughs> shoes! <laughs> I hope it's good after all of this. OK, well, look, Philip, you've got roughly two minutes. Let's do it. OK. Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> and today, we're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs and do some squats. <laughs> 
lie out the baby on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> It's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me shine the rain. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, come here. Oh. And then, oh, I was on the, uh, going out the jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, whoa. And then, I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And, like, whoa. and I was being sick everywhere. Oh my goodness, have you seen the bacteria in here? It is awful. Isn't that right, Kim? Oh, my love. Oh, that stinks. Darling, it's me, Louis Spence, dancing. Everyone up the top. Come on, duck. Everyone up the Come on, duck. Everyone up the top. Duck. And down. Duck. And down. And spice. about your act was that you had us laughing before you even did anything. Oh, thanks, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> David! You're like a butch version of me. Um, you're a very, very funny guy. I'd like to see some more of you in the act as well. Because you are hysterically funny as you as well. Are you sure you're not related to Stacey Solomon? I wish I was. <laughs> I've seen her from a distance and I was like, see, see. But no, I'm never glad. The direction. I think you're a really funny, lovable. Do you need a wee? No, no, no. I'm just really nervous. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, man. It was like the world record for how many impersonations you can do in two minutes. I found it difficult to keep up with some of them, but the ones that were, were great. And thanks, But you are a naturally funny guy. Well, thanks, Slightly bonkers. But I like that. You're gonna take a boat. David, yes or no? I'm gonna say yes. Do you hear a vision during dance? Give me a spot. It's a yes for me. Styron? Uh, we have actually had some good impressionists on the show this year. Uh, so you have got some competition. But I am going to say. <laughs> Yet. Yes, you are a little bit of a little bit of a he is very funny. It might be quite fun to have two impressionists in the final. In an impression of, so your first time out on stage doing this, how did it feel? Said that thing left and roll. And as a as I know, I did. Well, we'll see you again. You got four yeses. Well done. Before we go, great about it. Cheers. Thank you. Hey, darling. We'll get our soon. See you next time. I don't believe that was so nice. I was so beautiful. I'm free to watch each other. Well, hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Robert Unwin. And what do you do? Uh, I work in a chicken factory. Good. Do you think you've got the X Factor? I don't know, because I'm not quite sure what the X Factor is. All right. Ready? <clears throat> in a night, in a long and lonely part of town. <clears throat> no. Oh, I've lost where I am. I can't. Uh, I'll just do the chorus, because I'm, I'm a bit nervous. <clears throat> When the feeling's gone and you can't go on, it's tragedy. When the morning flies, you don't know why it's hard to bear. With no one to love you, you're going nowhere. I like the voice. I'm just not sure about the whole package. I know, yeah. You know, if if you enter a competition like this, you know, there's no point coming in if you believe that actually you're not that good, which is your body language. Yeah, no, I, I think I'm good. 
There's but not many still... people with a voice like yours, I've got to tell you. I think you've got a really good voice. You've got a defeatist attitude before you've begun. Yeah, I wouldn't like you in my group. Well, look, it's a yes from me, Sharon. No. Louis? I'm borderline on this one, Simon. Because I do like your voice. No. Got to tell you, he blew it on the interview. It's a real shame. Thanks. Never mind. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Real shame. Shame. Thank you. I can carry on working in a chicken factory, so there's always that. He wouldn't be on time yeah. for, a, for you know what I mean for rehearsal. He'd be an hour late on the He'd tube. Be in the park. Oh, God, can we get him back? Huh? Can we get him back? Why? He's not. Because I think good he's that good. That's, he's that's not. Like, he doesn't care. He doesn't want it that much, Sam. He doesn't Ask care him about. Ask to come back. Um, I'll tell you why we asked you to come back, because, <laughs> you know, as you, a bit of a split panel here. Do you know what Louis said when you left the room? What's that? If I had you booked all around Europe, you, you wouldn't get to Cologne or you wouldn't get to Berlin. Why? You'd be in the pub drinking. Because he, don't, he, he thinks you don't give a <laughs> shit. I don't think you care enough. I, no, you don't know me. I don't know, but that's See, the I'm going to suggest something, if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to invite you back to another audition tomorrow. Mm-hmm. If you want to turn up, great. If you don't, fair enough. But come back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. We're happy to have you back. What are you going to sing? Aqua Barbie Girl. <coughs> Hiya, Barbie. Hi, Dad. Do you want to go for a ride? Jogging. Jump in. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can push my hair and dress me everywhere. Imagination. Life is your creation. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Well, Bobby, we're just getting started. Oh, I love you, Ken. Uh, wrong choice of song. You're going to need a lot of work. When people hear me when I go to a different karaoke that I've never been to, I get a, applause and that. And it is genuine. Obviously, when you're on a karaoke machine, you've got the music in the background, plus you've got a bit of echo and that, which does help in a way. You're very soulful. Yeah. You guys are giving him such a hard no, time. No, I'm not. Are we're you giving you put it in or not? We're giving, we're giving him a chance. No yes or no? Yes. 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 Sharon. Yes. You're free to the next round. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name's Derek Santos. You seem a little bit nervous, are you? Not at all. <laughs> Derek, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a security guard. <laughs> You're a you security can... guard? Yep. And what is it you guard? <laughs> a empty parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine having that job at the uh, parking lot, mm -hmm. you've got to be great with the ladies, am I correct? Oh, yeah. You can't tell? Um, do you have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend. She's here. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Somewhere out there. And, and, and... Still looking for her. No, I'm just kidding. Are you in a serious relationship? Yes, uh, well, I like to think it is. How many years have you been with her? Uh, three years. Three whole years. Mm -hmm. Are you starting to think about perhaps proposing or? I would like to. I mean, that's why I'm here, I think. I'd like to be able to propose to my girlfriend uh, with more than just an onion ring. Right. In other words, you don't have money for a ring. No. So you're waiting to get some money. Now, what about her parents? Are they disappointed in her decision to date you? Very much so. Is it the job or is it your, just your demeanor? I mean, yeah, what is being it? a comedian, I don't think they, they believe like. in it. Wouldn't it be great revenge if you could win the million dollars? Oh, yeah. And you're this funny guy. And suddenly, then the parents will be like, oh, yeah, Derek's a great guy. We always loved him. Wouldn't that be the fantasy? Oh, yeah. Well, then I wouldn't speak to him anymore. Right. I love it. Revenge. That's how I do it. Uh, this is your big moment. The stage is yours. Good luck. Awesome. Thank All right. You. Here we go. So my parents are really weird. My mom dresses up like my dad, and my dad dresses up like my mom. They're transparent. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're a real drag. 
<laughs> so I've been wearing diapers recently, you guys. I usually only wear diapers for two reasons. Number one and number two. I'm going bananas, is what I tell my bananas before I leave the house. I'm going bananas, so I'm glad you guys found that appealing. I hate it when my friends ask me to do them a solid, especially when I've been eating grapes all day. It's not gonna be solid. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave you guys on a high note here. Derek, we're going to find out how the voting goes. This should be interesting. Um, you are a bit polarizing. Some people just are not going to get you, and I know that. But, but I get you. And I'll tell you, you're the kind of guy that I will remember because you're different. And I applaud different. No, well, thank you so much. And I'm going to give you your first yeah stick. Thank you. Heidi, you're always tough on the comedian, but I'm wondering what you thought of Darren. I like Derek very much, but for me, it's not really like America's Got Talent, one million dollar act. So, unfortunately, today I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry. Always. You know, you remind me of me. You really remind me, you're a lower energy me. And I can't tell you how much I love me. What's your vote? For me and Vanessa. Oh, it's clear if I leave. Now, I'll let you have the uh, final vote. I think, and I know you, you've you taught me this, Howie, he goes to me, if you will laugh once in those 90 seconds, that means he is good to you. Um, so I have to give you a yes. I have to really hit it. I was the best for you. And say the most loud, it's not a job. We would, yeah, if I do, but yeah, it's really it. Well, I would say, because I'm not there, I was a bit wrong. Do you hear how we Mandel say spelling the hole that you remind him of himself? How'd that feel? It feels so great knowing how much he loves himself. <laughs> and he must really like me. Absolutely. I think this guy's gonna do well. People are gonna remember his appearance. Or polarizing is. I'm really glad you put him through. Jen, I knew you could deal. On the shake too. Take care of that also you probably got Then he's gonna be really bad because he's so vibe stuck about him. Well maybe you won't see him here. My yeah. name's Alan Amot and Jeremy. Right. I'm new to the show. Yeah. I hope you enjoy this. Yeah. It's the best I can do, okay? Okay. I'm gonna start now, okay? Well, can right? I just ask you? <laughs> okay. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Aaron? Aaron, I'd just like to get to know a little bit more about you. I'm Alan Amot and Jeremy. Right. I'm 28. Yeah. I live in London. Okay, Thank okay. You. got it. <laughs> I'm gonna begin, yeah? Yeah. The living, making a better place for you and for me, for you and for me. There are people dying, they cannot follow. One for me. In the one. Thank you. Thank you. 
Danny, next round or not? Uh, no. Louis? Never. <laughs> rude. Cheryl? 10 out of 10 for trying. OK, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go along with Cheryl on that. That doesn't mean you're going through to the next round, but, I mean, effort, everything else, great. OK. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone, in the world. Not more than the rest. Thank you, yes. So, Aaron, you didn't get through. No. You can have 10 from Tyler and I see, yeah? Which is great. That's OK. I think you should be happy with that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6%, is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> Understand? In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this? I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Magic Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> I want to give a standing ovation to, let me finish, to Howard yeah. Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It this is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss please, on live TV. Please, 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 they were arguing. Oh! I think I see Tom. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Are you you did it! Hives, oh. Howie. Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> <laughs> and now look. I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they ringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. 
But he tries, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was going to be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists. <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blissed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. No, we need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just slay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. 
Everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God. I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> That's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here what? we go. Oh, Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, not, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they <laughs> what they what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing. I admit it. I do admit it. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. 
our daughter Capri. <laughs> Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. The first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> there was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at la, is la, that la, you worked on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, la, you guys la, are so la, fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> Password is magic.
Did okay. you just look? No. Not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Shannon, they're, they're cheating because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much, everybody.